don't let your electronic devices kick your butt. Let Chuck Fresh, the PC GYN, help you get in control of your computer skills. Here's Chucky with Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. Chuck Fresh, the PC GYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about business class computers versus home class computers. The stuff you can only buy online, typically through a big business contract, versus the stuff you can buy at any big box store. Is there a difference? You're darn right there is. Now, we've deployed probably thousands of business class computers, and we've seen in our computer repair business thousands of consumer level computers. And I can tell you that we see a lot less problems with business class computers than we do with consumer brand computers. We see a lot less failed motherboards and power supplies. Now again, the hard drives, they're pretty similar in the business class and the consumer class computers, so there's not much of a difference there. Uh, but the motherboards and power supplies, the two other main components that fail in a computer, a lot less of those on the business class computers. As a matter of fact, I have a Dell Optiplex that we bought seven years ago. I've turned it off three or four times and knock on wood, thing has been rock solid. It's, I'm still using it. It's, has Windows Vista business on it and we have never upgraded it, never added any RAM to it, but the thing has never once failed. As a matter of fact, it's the same original hard drive from seven years ago. It's ridiculous. The first thing you need to know is that if you want a business class computer, you can still get Windows 7 fairly easily and it's good through January 14, 2020. So no worries about Windows expiring. Now when we're talking about Windows expiring, they're talking about end of life support. And what end of support means is the day that Microsoft's no longer going to provide automatic updates. So even XP is good for another year. Now the only way you can get either Windows XP or Windows 7 legally anyway is through a business class computer. Now I'm going to show you the best one that's out there and I'm going to tell you why. This is the Dell Optiplex. It's a business class computer. You can't buy it in stores. And this is the uh, extreme little mini tower thing. It ships with Windows 7 or Windows 8. It's your choice. And they start in the neighborhood of about $550 to $600 pretty well equipped. Now, the difference in these things is it's all about electronics and mean time between failure. Although it's a very closely guarded secret and they won't tell you, these computers are typically built to be deployed in corporate environments, in government offices, in defense contractors. All over here in uh, the space coast of Florida, this is what people are using in their offices because they're built for a three-year lease. And when you buy them, they're also shipped with a three-year warranty. So you know that these things have at least a three-year lifespan. If they don't last three years, then the people who buy these things, the purchasing agents and the IT departments are going to switch to a different brand. And Dell doesn't want that because this is their bread and butter. This is where they make all their money in their business contracts where they deploy a thousand, two thousand of these things at a time. So you know these things are good for at least three years. Now the meantime between failure, Dell won't tell you that. No one will tell you that as a matter of fact, but I can pretty much guarantee that these things will have three times the mean time between failure than your typical desktop consumer level PC. Another feature of these guys is they're very, very easy to fix and deploy. One screwless entry gets you into the side of this guy and everything is right here. Everything you need, you can replace them most cases without tools. There's neat little plastic levers and uh, everything just kind of pops out fairly easy so you don't have to take the whole thing apart in the event of a uh, problem. And of course there is a three year factory warranty and they'll usually ship you parts next business day. Now the other thing about this is it doesn't come with all the junkware that your consumer level computer will have. You're not going to have a bunch of games, you're not going to have all this frilly crap software and toolbars that your typical computer soft typical consumer computer is going to ship with. It's going to be stealth, it's going to be sleek, it's going to be really nice. You're going to have the basic Windows 7 installation and you won't have to fool around taking all the schmuck and stuff off of it because you just load your software, what you want on there, and you're ready to go. Now we talked about mean time between failure and basically that is the average or expected life of the hardware in a computer. 
And a couple of things fail in these computers, in all computers. The hard drives are pretty much the same in all of them. And they're the same in the PCs and the Macs. They're all using the same few vendors. There's not too many people who make them anymore. A lot of the companies have consolidated. So a hard drive is typically going to last somewhere between three and five years in a desktop. That's the average lifespan of a hard drive. Now, the other thing that can fail is the power supply. But these tend to be made a little bit better in the business class computers. They're a little bit more resistant to surges, a little bit more resistant to spikes. And nobody can explain why it's a closely guarded secret. Also, the motherboards are manufactured a little bit better. They are also a little bit more resistant to power surges and spikes. And also, the process that they use to manufacture these motherboards is a little bit better. Now, I, I don't mean to be very vague in this, but we can't get much information from the engineers at Dell. It, it is a... Uh, confidentiality issue and they're not real they're very very tight-lipped about this but from what I've heard from other engineers in electronics is the process that they use to do the soldering on the motherboard is better and it's less susceptible to oxidation so when your motherboard failure when your motherboard fails it's typically that the solder point somewhere or one of the chips on the board is unable to send electrons across its traces now when they build a business class computers they're going to use a little bit better soldering process so you're not going to be as susceptible to failures in uh, motherboards. So that's another reason that the mean time between failure is longer in a business class computer. They also make a business class laptop. They also make a Vostro. But there is something called a Dell Latitude laptop. And this also seems to be the industry standard at most of the big companies, defense contractors, and government agencies. Um, I have to disclaim that other companies, including Acer, Lenovo, and HP, and probably some of the other companies do make business class computers, but these seem to be the most rock solid things I have ever seen. These are the only ones I recommend for a business. And as a matter of fact, I recommend these for consumers also. If you own a small business or even if you're a home user, you can order through Dell's small business division and get yourself one of these business class laptops even though you're a home user. Now, they're not going to be great at playing games. They're not going to be good at uh, editing videos, although you probably could edit videos on these things. They're not big on graphics, but they are great, super reliable computers for everyday tasks such as email and word processing. You can get up to an i7 processor. This particular one, I think, has an i5 in it. This one, as a matter of fact, is about a year old. We haven't deployed this one yet, and it's still sitting here, and uh, she is rock solid. This is the only laptop I recommend. Now, the difference between a laptop and a desktop, the laptop obviously doesn't have as much room to ventilate. It's got a tiny little heat sink area here as opposed to the desktop, which has a whole bunch of room to, to, for ventilation. This guy does have a nice aluminum case. The bottom, unfortunately, is plastic. They're very easy to deploy, very easy to repair. There's uh, one or two screws on the bottom of this guy that you can pull out and you can access the hard drive and the memory, everything you really need to get to. Real easy to pull apart, replace the keyboard and anything else that you would probably have to replace on one of these things. Typically, it's the hard drive. Uh, when the motherboard fries on these things, it's usually not cost-effective to repair it, but uh, typically, you just end up getting a new laptop on any laptop. But again, i seen these things. I have seen the Dell Latitude series last up to five years, which is virtually unheard of for a laptop. You're never going to get a consumer laptop these days that's going to last as long as one of these business class laptops. Um, some there are Ultrabooks. This particular one is the E5520 series. They're now up to the E5530. This one has a CD drive. Um, you really don't need it. They're becoming obsolete. Most things are becoming downloadable now. So you'll see the optical drive start to disappear. But a real nice configuration is an i5 with about 4 gigs of RAM. You can do an i3 with 2 gigs of RAM, as we said in the last video, it, which is more than enough horsepower for the average person. But an i5 with 4 gigs is really nicely equipped, and you can get these things for under 700 bucks. Even get next day shipping for uh, just about under that price. So just keep an eye on Dell's website. Look at the... Um, the sales and keep an eye on the uh, flyers that you'll probably get in the mail. Sign up for the mailing list because they always send coupons out. And uh, it's the Dell Latitude series for the laptop, the Dell Optiplex series for the desktop. And uh, these are the two main computers that we recommend. We really don't recommend anything else. A lot of experience, super duper reliability on these things, very, very liberal warranties on the business side, and much different from any home class computer you can get your hands on these days. Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.